What's up guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question in today's video and we have x squared plus 1 all to the power of 2 is equal to 9 and we have to figure out the value of the x. So in these types of questions when we have x squared is equal to a squared, we know 9 is 3 squared. So what we usually do, we do the square root on each side of the equation, but we have to keep in mind that once we do square root on each side, what we're going to get for x is the absolute value is equal to square root of a squared which is a so at the end of this our x is equal to plus or minus a so keeping that in mind we're going to do the square root on each side so basically we have x squared plus one is equal to plus or minus square root of nine so our x squared plus one will be plus or minus three so we're going to start with x squared plus 1 is equal to 3 and we're going to do minus 3 shortly after this. We're going to subtract 1 on each side of the equation so x squared will be 2 and here we have the same thing. We have x squared equal to a squared meaning our absolute value of x in here is equal to the square root of 2. So we get two answers in here x will be plus or minus the square root of and the second part we have x squared plus 1 is equal to minus 3 and same thing we're going to subtract 1 on each side x squared will be minus 3 minus 1 which will be minus 4. We know x squared is equal to a positive number and since in here we have a negative sign it means that we have to deal with complex answers and what we can do in here is that we're going to use our i squared is equal to minus 1. So basically in here our x squared will be equal to 4 times i squared. So we have the same thing we're going to do the square root on each side but keeping in mind that we're going to get plus or minus the square root of 4 i squared which will be plus or minus 2i and we're going to get two sets of answer in here. So four answers in total and the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have another approach to solve this one. The biggest takeaway from this one is to keep in mind that when we have a perfect square equal to another perfect square, when we are doing the square root, we have to take it as absolute value, meaning our x is plus or minus the square root of the other perfect square on the other side of the equation. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.